Hey, Michael Slapsky here for another Tip Tuesday on the brand new Red Giant Geo. Now you see I've got this cool little like folded thing here uh, and I'm using the After Effects native camera tools just to move around. Um, and the way I've got this is I'm using the base geometry plane and the tessellation I've cranked all the way down to two and one. That means I've only got uh, two polygons in the X and one polygon in the Y. So a total of two polygons, you know, two times one is, you know, two. Uh, if I crank this up to the default, you know, 150, you get nice, nice smooth bend there. And the way I've got the bend is I've turned bend Y on here. It's a cool way to bend bend your, your, your models. You can do kind of cool stuff with it. But the reason I'm doing all of this is to show you the difference between the size and the extend. So we've got only two polygons here. Now if we make the size go up, all the size is doing is changing the size of the model. That is the polygons, it's just, it's just stretching it bigger on the X and you know taller on the Y here. But the, if I hit extend mesh, watch what happens. It goes more, but then it adds geometry. It's extending the mesh, following the rules and adding geometry. Uh, you can go negative uh, and positive here. So uh, depending on what you're trying to get done here, um, the extend, might might give you the control you want or changing the tessellation size and bend all, all together might, might get you what you want but again kind of it's just another control uh, for you to get done what you need to get done for this kind of info and a whole lot more uh, be sure to check out the red giant user guides the link is in this post